I am Anil Kumar. Here is a thinking question on finding the missing terms using Pascal's triangle concept. The question here is, find the missing numbers using Pascal's triangle concepts. Now normally, we will always give you three numbers. Now in this particular case, only two numbers are given to you and you have to find all the missing numbers. Now think about it and then solve the question. Here is my solution. Well, first number to get is very simple. Since combination of these two will give me 3003, so the number here should be 3003 take away 1287. So we do 3003 take away 1287, and we get this number as 1716. So that part has been done. Now how do I get this number or that number? How should I move forward? Now, that is a very very tricky part. Now in this particular case what you can explore is that the numbers given to us 1287 for example let's try to figure out their factors. Now if you know there is a property which says that if there is a prime number in a row if the row number is prime, let's say if the row number is prime number, in that case, you know what is the property? If row number is prime, let's say if row number is 5, in that case, what do you see? If row number is prime, then in that case, all terms are multiple of that prime number. Now this is a very important property which can help you solve such questions, correct? So that is why I have taken this up. So now let's try to find factors of 1287 that is kind of and we are actually looking for a prime number right so 7 plus 2 is 9 8 plus 1 is 9 so it can be divided by 9 so we can do 1287 divided by 9 equals to 143 so we get numbers 143 uh, times 9 now 143 so could we factor 143 we're looking for prime factors Right, so 143, of course we have 3 and 3 here, okay, but with 3, we cannot get that big numbers. Now, 143, so try it out, so 143 divided by, by 11, 1 plus 3 is 4, and then this is 4, will also give us something, right, so by 11 is 13, so what we get here is two numbers. 11 and 13 right so so we can look for possibility of numbers with 11 and 13 so if i could relate 1287 with with the combination of 11 or 13 i'll get an idea and then i can fill the rest perfect now if i try 11 let's say 11c uh, the highest value will be right in the center so 11c6 for example is how much is only 462 so so 11 c2 is not going to work right so we found that 11 c i mean 6 is 462 so that didn't work so let's try 13 c6 right so 13 c6 is 1716 so what we found is that 1716 is actually 13c6. So this number was found to be 13c6. Do you see that? So now we got the series and it is very simple to fill up all the values. So let's try. If uh, what is 13c7? 13c7 is also 1756. So this is also equal to 13c7 is also 1756. That means it is symmetric about this point and now we are getting to lower numbers. So let's try 13C8, which is 1287. So this number is 13C8. 
Now, once you get one number, it's very easy, right? So the next number in the series is 13C9, right? So 715. So we get the next number as 715. And actually, we can do this combination. But the whole idea is to understand this trick, correct? Now, it's very, very simple. Uh, you have to use calculator 286 uh, and get your answer, right? So 286, anyway, you can combine these terms and now it is a simple job. So we have 1287 plus 715 equals to 2002. Right, so we can add this, so we get 5005, and let's move forward. We have 7, I mean, 715 plus 286 equals to 1001. That is a very interesting series. And when you add this up, you get 3003, and that is how you can fill this up, right? So, so I hope you understand that if there is a difficult situation as we were in with just two numbers given to us, right? With just two numbers given to us, we have to look for prime factors and figure out which row we are talking about. So this is row number 13, which gave us the result, right? So that's a very important technique to remember. It will always help you. So I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comments and suggestions. And if you like and subscribe, that would be great. Thank you and all the best.